Hello friend, my name is Vijay Kumar and we are studying representation and your condition. In the last video, we have seen the properties of representation. Now friends, in this video, we will see the ozone depletion potential. What is the meaning of that we will see here? Before studying the ozone depletion potential, here we see what is ozone, how ozone is formed, and how ozone is destroyed. Okay, so what is ozone? Ozone layer is a thin layer present in the stratosphere. There are is a proper sphere, stratosphere, visual sphere, exosphere in the earth environment. So in a in stratosphere, ozone layer is present, which extends from 10 to 15 kilometers. From the earth surface. From the earth surface, there is a layer 10 to 15 km ozone is present. It is highly beneficial to the light on the earth as it blocks the sun's UV B ray. There are ultraviolet radiations type A, B, and C. So, sun's UV B type A, it blocks. It is beneficial because if this day comes to the earth, then there is a problem of skin cancer. So, ozone layer is very, very beneficial for the human being. How this ozone is formed? Ozone formation here we will see oxygen molecule absorbs UV radiation with wavelength less than 240 nanometers. Even our oxygen molecule absorbs. The ultraviolet radiations less than 240 nanometers, then it combines another, another oxygen, it will again combine to ozone. This is the formation. Then, how ozone is destroyed? When ozone absorbs ultraviolet radiation with wavelength greater than 290 nanometers, if wavelength is above 290 nanometers, then ozone will destroy. So, ozone will again destroy to O2 and oxygen. Oxygen molecule and oxygen atom. So, this is the ozone destroy form process. Okay. Now, I have told about the ozone formation and ozone destroy. Why ozone depletion process? Why ozone depletion process is very important? Because the represent which we are using in window AC and split AC, there is a leakage from the system. After the leakage, that represent will go into the atmosphere. When this represent will go into the atmosphere, it will deplete the ozone layer. This, and how it will deplete? This is the process of ozone depletion. The represent like CR, CL3, which we call as R11. Trichlorofluorocarbon, R11. CF3, CL, R22. R11, R22, we are frequently used in window AC and split AC as a represent. After leaking from the system, these represent will go into the environment and these represent will deplete the ozone layer. And the process of depletion I have drawn here. I will explain one by one. So let's see the ozone depletion process. In a step one, this is CF CL3 R11. Now, after the leaking from the window AC or split AC, this R11 goes into the atmosphere. In atmosphere, it will take UV radiation. After taking UV radiations, one chlorine atom will detach. One chlorine atom will detach from this CF CL3. So, now in this case, this is the detached. 
or separate by say separate. It will separate from CX L3 one chlorine atom. After that, this chlorine atom will go to the ozone ozone particle O3. It is O3. This chlorine atom will take action with the one oxygen molecule, one more, one oxygen atom. Then this CLO, chloromonoxide, chloromonoxide will form. And one oxygen molecule will separate. This chlorine, chlorine atom will attack one oxygen atom and form chloromonoxide and oxygen molecule. Now the next step, this is separate, it has more as O2. This oxygen atom detached from the chlorine. Again, detached or separate. Now here is individual molecule, chlorine atom, chlorine and oxygen. And this oxygen again combined with another oxygen and form oxygen molecule. And this chlorine is again is again separate. And again, this chlorine will go into the system and process will repeat. Process will repeat. This chlorine atom will go into the system and process will repeat. So you have seen that O3 has degraded from O2. O3 has degraded from O3 to oxygen molecule. And this division process is going on. Then this ozone layer will not protect us from the ozone, from the ultraviolet radiation, which causes skin cancer to the human beings and animals. Okay, friends. So this is the ozone depletion process. Now let's see the ozone depletion potential. Now you can understand easily the ozone depletion potential. The definition of this, I'll explain. Now ozone depletion potential. That means there are different type of refrigerants which we are using in the system. All the refrigerants have some potential to deplete the ozone. But there is a standard one or some chemical is that is there which have high potential that is used for as a standard for comparison purpose. That is R11. That is R11. R11 has a maximum potential for depletion of ozone. So there see the ODP of a chemical compound is relative amount of degradation to the ozone. Ozone layer, it can form with trichloro-chloro-methane or R11. B is takes at an ODP of 1. Sorry. ODP of 1. So all the represents, not all, sorry, the represents which are chloro-chloro family, family of chloro-chloro-chlorine and chlorine family have some potential to deplete the ozone. But R11 has the maximum potential, so it is fixed at potential 1. Okay, so this is the definition of ODP. OD, once again, listen. ODP of a chemical compound is relative amount. It is relative to R11. Relative amount of degradation to the ozone layer, it can cope. With trichloro-chloro-methane, we fix that on ODP of with respect to R11, the other represent how much potential he, that represent has to deplete the ozone layer. This is the represent. Now, here some example like R11, R22, R30. ODP of R11 have already told that one. R22, it has potential 0.05. It has potential R13, 1. R12 again 1, R134 A has potential 0 0.0001. This is the 
these potentials are in relative to R11. Okay, so this is the ozone depletion potential. Now let's see the global warming potential. Global warming potential. Now let's see the global warming potential. To understand the greenhouse gas potential impact, they are rated based on the global warming potential. In environment, the greenhouse gases are there. Because of that, the temperature of the earth is increasing. The greenhouse gases are like CO2, sulfur dioxide, nitrous, nitrogen oxide. There are so many greenhouse gases. Because of that, the temperature of the earth is increasing. And this phenomena we call as global warming. And to understand the greenhouse gas potential, they are rated based on green. Global warming potential. Global warming potential. Because all the greenhouse gases have the impact on Earth to increase the temperature. So they are rated on the basis of on global warming potential. Now let's see the definition of GWP. It is the ratio of global warming or radiative forcing from one unit mass of a greenhouse gas to that of one unit mass of CO2 over a period of time. That means the global warming potential of carbon dioxide is 1. We have considered the global warming potential of carbon dioxide is 1. Like in ozone depletion process, oh sorry, ozone depletion potential, we have taken R11 as 1 because it was taken one for comparing purpose. For comparing purpose of the impact of the other represents on the ozone depletion. In the same way, CO2 is fixed as GWP1 to compare the other greenhouse gas effect on the global warming. So here the global warming potential of CO2 is one. Now, GWP of CFC, chlorofluorocarbon, is 4000 to 8000. Now, see here what is the difference. It is 4000 to 8000 times of CO2. That means the represent has global warming potential more than the CO2. So, when we study ozone depletion potential in connection to that, we have to study the global warming potential of okay, the represents. CFC, what is CFC? CFC is a represent. That's why we have seen here the definition global warming potential. The global warming potential of chlorofluorocarbon is very, very high. Okay. So, friends, in this video, we have seen the ozone depletion potential and global warming potential. Before that, we have seen the ozone formation. Ozone, how ozone is destroyed. And after that, we have seen the ozone depletion process. Okay, friends? So, thanks for watching. Have a good day.